As my brother, my dad, and I were patiently waiting in the room, the coach walked in and said to me, I have to say, Bennett, any other kid I would have had that phone call with, I would not have heard back from. I am very impressed with your dedication and go-getter attitude I have seen this last month. I have made many choices throughout my life, some worse than others. When these bad choices appear, they tend to come back and affect me in the future. When this happens, I try my best to right my wrongs, even if there isn't much left for me to do. Recently, I have finished the recruiting process and committed to a college to play football. The things that I have struggled about there are the struggle, panic, and work I had to go through to get to that point. The day I decided to sign was when I knew I was at my best. Let's go back to the summer of 2020. That was when I began my recruiting process. I was new to the recruiting process, so getting these texts from all these colleges was really exciting to me. Uh, I, got, I also got invited to a couple virtual visits. Because of COVID, we had to watch basically the tour of the college and the program online. Even though I should have paid more attention, I didn't. I thought it was going to be another ordinary show around, but I missed some crucial information in these that would come back to bite me. Now let's fast forward a little forward, more to the end of the summer. This is when football camps started to come around. Because of COVID, they weren't allowed to have it throughout the whole summer, but a couple schools worked around it and allowed it to happen. I attended four total camps. Most of them were from D2. Unfortunately, I didn't hear back from many of them except for one. So, since it was a D2 college, I thought I was better than those D, or I could play better than the D3 ones. And I was still getting texts from those colleges, but I didn't really reply to them and push them off because I thought I was better. Now fast forward to the end of December. The first recruiting day and signing day already happened, and I still didn't have any contact with any of the coaches. I started to worry, freak out, and panic. I did a little more research on the colleges that texted me and I found that Dort actually had my engineering major. Unlike most D3 colleges in Minnesota, they don't have it, but Dort's in Iowa, and they ended up having it. So I quickly responded to the coach and text back when he texted me earlier, but I didn't get a reply. I ended up talking to Mr. Jackman, and he said Mr. Hayes actually coached the recruiting coordinator for Dort at Crown. So I talked to him for a little bit, and he hooked me up with a phone call. When the phone call came around, I answered it, and you could just tell on the coach's voice that he was not impressed with me. The phone call started, said all the wasted time that I said, or that I did, not replying to him, they filled my spot with other kids from different places, even if they weren't better or if they were better. The phone call went on for a little longer and eventually he ended it with, the opportunity isn't out the window, but it's a very slim chance and I need to start replying faster and have a go-getter mindset. After this phone call, I was very discouraged and wondered what was I gonna do. So I thought in my brain, maybe this is the time I could better myself in that area. So I applied to Dort, filled out the application fee and figured out what my academic scholarships would be. And after each step, I would talk to the coach and text him. So he knew I was dedicated to playing there. After a couple weeks went by, I finally got the text saying that they have one final football visit day. So I quickly took up that opportunity. The day came when I got to go visit the college. The first half of the day would be the academic portion and the second half would be the testing and football. So when I arrived, the first part was the academic part where they just showed me the libraries and classrooms. I also got to meet with the engineering professor there and he talked to me about what I'd like to do in the future and what major I'm going in for. First part of the day went through and the second part came up which was the football testing. The testing is a combine, which if some of you don't know, the combine for the NFL is basically running the 40 yard dash, the broad jump, and the 5 or the three cone drill. So I finished the testing and they walked me around to show me the facilities. The facilities included practice field and where they have their team meetings. On the way back to the final room, they, they uh, swung me by the weight room so I could see the dedication and passion the players are showing while they're in there. I finally made it to the end of the room. He brought me and my dad and brother in there and sat us down. He said he'd be coming back in a little bit. I looked back at my brother and I asked him, what if they don't offer me or give me a scholarship? I don't know what I'm going to do. Because Dort's a very spendy college, so any scholarship money is big. A couple minutes went by and the coach came back in. He had a huge grin on his face and he quickly walked up to me and shook my hand. And with the other hand, he pulled out a white envelope from his back pocket and said, inside this envelope is this uh, official offer from Dort and uh, scholarship money. Joy and happiness rushed through my body. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to play college football and now I finally get to live out my dream. While getting through the process was long and challenging, it showed me that Dedication and persistence can get you a long way in life. Sometimes you feel too good about something and you just gotta remember to stay humble. And so to end it, 
I hope I can keep myself dedicated and humble for the rest of my life, so I know when I do, I'm at my best. Thank you for listening to my speech.